dumb. I don't even want to be here right now. It's a waste of my life. I have friends, parties, a girlfriend or two. I don't want to be here, but no. If I don't come to the library and study, she says I'm going to fail my test. Like I give a damn about algebra anyway. I don't even want to use algebra. Algebra is useless. Ugh. Who makes libraries this big? I don't even know where to sit. What the? Is that, is that a giant crab? Ugh. Hallucinations are setting in already. Oh, it's gonna be a long day. I guess I'll just sit here. I don't want to do this. I think my teacher hates me. Oh my god, I need to stretch. I've been sitting down for ages. <sighs> It's already been 20 minutes and I've not gotten anywhere. I can't, I can't do this on my own. I need to get some help. Hey, miss, excuse me. Ma'am. Uh, yeah, me, me. Hi there. Hi, I'm Amanda. How are you? I'm good. Um, my name's John. So, what's the problem, John? Just look at it. Look at what? The book. It's like glowing, like it's magic or. Oh, that? That's just the slight hallucinations that accompany math anxiety. Don't worry. It will pass. pass. Oh. Well, I guess we should get to what I really need help with, huh? Here it is. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out this algebra problem. Well, what are you guys covering at the moment? Quadratic equations. Oh, those are fun. Speak for yourself. It's all Greek to me. Well, let's start with the basics. Do you know the equation? Sure, if it's written down in front of me. So you've not memorized it? Um, yeah. No, not, not at all. Well, I can tell you a little trick that's got me to memorize it. We call it a learning strategy. Anything's better than nothing. Let's hear it. Okay. Come follow me. I shall introduce you to one of the most prominent books in the entire library. The Big O Books of Rhyming Memorizations, located in the Big O Books section. Wait, over there? You're not joking, are you? Here it is. You've got to be kidding me. No, not at all. Now, of course, I'd never sing it out loud. That'd just be humiliating and silly. But I have learned to say it in my head every time I have to use the equation. This will be rich. Let's hear it. Okay, here we go. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 AC all over 2A. Wow. That's catchy. Tell me about it. It's quite infectious. Want to give it a try? Uh, I, I don't know. Go on. We'll do it together. Oh, lordy. Um, here we go. Let's give it a try. X, X equals, equals negative, negative B plus, plus or minus the square root of B squared, squared minus 4 AC all over 2 a. a. See, you did it. I don't think I'm ever going to forget that again. I know I sure won't. Let's head back to our table. All right, now back to this problem. All right, it says 6x squared minus 4x plus 12 equals y. What do you think is the first step? Uh, match up the ABCs? Perfect. So what's the A? 6? Correct. How about the B? 12. Not quite. Remember they go from left to right. Oh, duh. Um, in that case, it's got to be the 4, right? Now, is it positive or negative? Because that's going to be really important later on. Uh, I've not, I've not thought about that. Um, I'd have to say negative because of the minus sign in front of it. One hundred percent correct. And lastly, how about C? Definitely the twelve. Okay. Now let's plug it all in. So what do we have? Uh, let me remember the rhyme. X equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared. Minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay. So it would be x equals positive 4 because the 4, the b was already negative, and if it's minus b, two negatives make a positive. So x equals positive 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared 
minus 4 times 6 times 12 all over 2 times 6. There you go. Great job. Now let's try and solve it. So we'd have x equals positive 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 288 all, all over 12, right? Absolutely. What's next? Well, it'd be x equals positive 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 272 over 12? But we can't take the square root of negative number. Well, not necessarily. Try to remember what your teacher told you negative numbers turn into when it's in a square root. It was a letter of some sort? Uh, M. Nope. G. No. O? Nope. A. Nope. B. Nope. C. Guessing is not allowed. Alright, I don't know. Well, check your notes to see if you caught it in class. Alright. Ah! Turns into an I. Uppercase or lowercase? Uh, I've got it as a lowercase. Is, is that right? Is that right? Sure is. <laughs> oh. So, when that negative comes out as an I, and it goes in front of the square root, I remember that. Now we need to see what square number can divide into 272 evenly. Alright, so 2 squared is 4, and no, that one doesn't go through. 3 squared is 9, no, not that one either. 4 squared is 16, ah, there we go. So, we have 16, and that leaves 17 inside. So we pull the 16 outside the square root, right? Well, remember, when you divide like that, you're seeing what squared number divides into it. That squared number is still inside of that square root symbol. So what do you think you'd have to do with it? Take the square root. Sounds good to me. And what's the square root of 16? 4. Yep. And what do we do with that 4? Uh, we pull that 4 outside with the little i, right? Yeah. So what do we have now? Um x equals positive 4 plus or minus 4 little i times the square root of 17 all over 12. Almost done. Is there anything else we can do to simplify it? Um, divide the numerator and denominator by 4? Sounds good to me. What does that give us? x equals positive 1 plus or minus little i times the square root of 17 all over 3. And there we have it. All solved. Well, oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Thanks. No problem. Once you've learned the little rhyme, it'll be easy to remember the equation. It's just a matter of plugging stuff in and doing it correctly with the steps, which I can tell you definitely know how to do. Great job. Thanks. I guess I just needed someone to be patient with me and to reassure me that I could do it. That's why I'm here. Well, I'm pretty sure I can get the rest of this stuff by myself, so thanks for the help. Absolutely. No problem. If you need more help, just put your hand up and I'll come on over. Awesome. I will. Have a good day. You too. Bye now. Bye-bye.